Now, I'm going to talk about Banco Popular. Now, Banco Popular was the third bank I began to work with. And I opened my account with Banco Popular as a resident. Big difference. Banco Popular, if you are a uh, frequent traveler or snowbirder, long-term tours, whatever the case is, but you're not a resident and you're not a citizen, they have three pages long of requirements. Three pages long of requirements. I'm telling you, when I first saw those three pages, I was like, mm-mm. I ain't dealing with that. Well, you have Beacha Day, Leon, they only had, you know, maybe like six lines of stuff that I had, uh, I had to do for, to open up a bank account. And for Banco Santa Cruz, they only had one page, not even a full page, just one page of requirements. But Banco Popular, three pages of requirements as a non-resident and non-citizen. So forget that. But when you are a resident, they only have a few things. I mean, you're talking about less than a half a page of, of requirements. Less than a half a page of requirements. So you have three pages versus less than one half of a page of requirements. So if you are a resident, I highly recommend that you open up an account with Banco Popular. So, well, Banco Popular, it's everywhere. They have branches everywhere, just like Banco Beache Day. They are everywhere. The difference is, in my opinion, Banco Popular, they are more efficient. They are more efficient in the way they do business. They are more efficient in the way they deal with lines and a lot of people. Uh, they are, in my opinion, the most technologically advanced bank in the Dominican Republic. Uh, whenever you are dealing with anything, whenever you go to the branch and you're dealing with anything, you, gotta, you have to use your thumbprint or fingerprint, excuse me. You won't find that in any, in any of the other branches, uh, any, any of the other banks. So uh, the other thing with Banco Popular is they offer some of the, the this the best programs. Look at their, their, their credit cards and their, their awards and all that stuff. I mean, they're, they, I mean, you will look at Banco Popular and they tend to have the same type of programs you would see if you were looking at some of the major banks in the United States, like Bank of, Bank of America or, or Chase or Citibank. Like that's, Banco Popular is almost on the same tier as those banks. The way they operate here and what they offer. Uh, also, uh, Banco Popular is definitely quicker to give uh, uh, loans, um, quicker to uh, open up credit card accounts for, for foreigners. Um, they, they just uh, operate and are just better at doing business than the other two banks I mentioned. The downside of Popular is... Uh, The downside of Popular, I would say, is they do not have the most user-friendly application. So, you know, when you have an application with a bank, you should be, and if you have like three phones, you know, you can go into any of those phones, download the application, log into your account, username, password, you're in. That's how it works with, uh, all the banks I'm talking about on this on this uh, in this video, apart from Popular, Popular, you can only use one cell phone, one cell phone, one application, and there's a, a a token that is tied to that phone. So therefore, and you and you, and you register you register that token on that phone when you open up your account. So therefore. That's the only phone you can actually use. So for me, a person who has more than one phone, I uh, like to be able to use whatever phone I have access to to go into my account. Or with Banco Popular, I can only use one phone. 
That's something that I, I do not like about Purple Line. It may seem like a small thing for you all, but I don't like that. Also, with Purple Line, with this uh, banking application, you cannot, you cannot transfer uh, uh, money to an external bank using the application. So, if, but when I use, uh, I couldn't do that. I could not do that with uh, uh, with Banco Santa Cruz neither. But I could do it with Banco Bear today, and I could do it with Reservas, which, which I will talk about uh, later. Um, Bongo Popular is probably the bank that most people use here who are not affiliated with the government, right? Uh, I feel like most people in the business world, uh, white collar business world, and the Dominican Republic bank more with Banco Popular than any other bank. Uh, Banco Popular again. Open you can open up accounts in in, in dollars and and I believe in euros as well. And dollars and pesos. Uh, they offer uh, a lot of good programs there. Like I mentioned before, a lot of, a lot of services. Uh, they tend to they tend to take their time though when. Uh, it comes to application that their application processes. However, they offer the best, in my opinion. They offer the best. So, if you're going to get a, a, um, a credit card, for example, me, I like I like credit cards where they have a, the different programs where you can earn points and, and awards and this and that. They offer the best with Popular, hands down. So, if that's your thing. Popular is the bank you want to focus on. What up, my people? Hola, mi gente. Gracias por tu apoyo. Da me gusta. Sigue mi canal y comparte con toda tu familia. Thank you for supporting my channel. Please give it a like and subscribe and share with all your family if you enjoy my content. Peace.